Hey there, Mission Control. We continue the I'm Not a Botanist series today, and we're going to be looking at our corn, which appears to be doing somewhat okay, but we have had some problems. In particular, the corn has basically gotten to that height and essentially stopped. Now, it's gotten up close to the light. I don't know if corn has like a sensor in it, you know, a biological sensor that if it gets too close to light, maybe it stops growing. Uh, I doubt that, but I'm not sure. I also see some streaking in the leaves and in general, like this, this corn stalk right here, just, it's all kind of weak, uh, very kind of weak looking. Just pulled this one up. That one's done. Ha! Uh, look at that right there and save it for later. So we've got corn, ears of corn that are on here, but in general, everything looks really, really skinny. Now I'm pretty sure Corn is a nitrogen removing capability uh, plant, meaning it takes nitrogen out of the system, uh, which is great. Uh, we want that. We want it to remove nitrogen from the system. Uh, we'll clean it, I should say, change it. Um, but what, I'm, I'm not certain why it's so skinny. Now on this, uh, this particular crop of corn, uh, we had a valve problem similar to what we had over with the kiwi we realized that the uh, valve wasn't running correctly on this bed and we found out when some of the corn was kind of uh, starting to wilt a little bit. So it went through some pretty hard times. We found the problem, fixed it, and everything started growing again, as you can see. We have ears of corn on almost every single stalk, but everything is really small. Now I did go through and I grabbed some of the seed from up here and I did put it into the silk coming off of the corn, but and I can feel it. there's corn in there. It's just, everything is just so darn small. And these plants, they're just, they're really, really weak. Um, maybe I didn't plant them dense enough because I think corn might have to lean on each other. But we've had wind blowing on these. Uh, there's actually a fan off to your side. I've turned the fan over there off. Um, but maybe they're skinny because of that, that time without water and it went through some hard times there. That could be. Um, but this looks like the stuff that would be on the edge of a cornfield, not in the middle of it. So I'm wondering what your guys' thoughts are. Let me give you some close-ups so you can see. First, let's look at some of the older leaves here. We do have some streaking in there. Can you see that close enough? Uh, let's get close enough here. Sorry, come on autofocus. That one's just being hard. You can see some streaks going in there, and you also have some spots right there. Um, and then here, like underneath, you can see, see those lines in there. I think this is a nutrient deficiency again. Uh, here we got some of those spots. And then just look, so my thumb here, I'm pretty sure corn stalk should be thicker than my thumb, but it's not. And uh, we got ears of corn growing. This is the oldest stuff. Look at that brown though. Is that brown normal? Is that what it's supposed to look like? I don't, I don't think so. Now, this is uh, white and yellow sweet corn. So it's a mixture. Uh, each one is a white and yellow sweet corn. It's a hybrid. Um, but I'm not sure why it's not working, not, not correct. And look at those leaves there. Uh, that doesn't even look healthy. So what's up? This is some of the older stuff here, and it got stunted somehow. That, those are newer ones, but they still went through that challenge. Now over here, over here we have a different crop altogether, and I don't have the lights up top. See over here, I put extra lights in. Over here, I don't. But um, look at that yellowing there. I think we got ourselves a, a nutrient deficiency. All those lines. What do you guys think? This stuff appears to be a lot thicker uh, than that other crop, but they're leaning because of light. You can kind of see, every, well, there it is. Kind of, everything's kind of leaning towards the light over there. Uh, yeah, here's a good example right there. See that lean? So maybe light and uh, light deficiency on this one, but also it appears that there's some form of nutrient deficiency here. Look at all that yellowing. Is it iron, calcium, magnesium, phosphate? What is it? And then over here, we have ears of corn. I mean, look, there's an ear of corn right there. There's more. Everything's growing. 
We got ears of corn. There's a good one there. And another one. So it's, it's pretty much growing, but it's not growing healthily. So what is it that I'm doing wrong? What's missing here? Guys got to help me out. Got to save this crop. So uh, it might be beyond saving, but we got to learn from it at least. So this failure counts as a lesson learned in the Real Martian lesson learned book, which is getting thick. So uh, thanks for following along. Thanks for all your help. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can follow us. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is Real Martian, out.